Assalamu alaikum and hello and welcome to Baby Step Med where I try and explain difficult medical concepts in a easier way. Please like and subscribe to watch more videos. Okay, let's get started. So here we have the um, cerebellar afferents uh, which are from the cerebral cortex. We're going to start off with the pink ones which are the cortical ponto cerebellar um, fibers so these arise in the cerebral cortex right and then they enter the coronary coronary radiata and then the internal capsule and then they terminate right and then they terminate in the pontine nuclei where they get, where they give off uh, transverse fibers of the pons right so, cerebral cortex and pontine nuclei, and then these fibers, they cross the midline and enter the cerebellum via the middle cerebellar peduncle. Okay? Then we have your cortical olivio cerebellar tracts, which are the green ones. And they arise in the cerebral cortex again. Uh, they go to the coronal radiata and then the internal capsule. And then they terminate bilaterally, right, on the inferior olivary nuclei. So cerebral cortex, and then they terminate bilaterally in the inferior olivary nuclei, where they cross the midline and they enter the cerebellum via the inferior cerebellar peduncle. Okay? Um, I should have oriented you to the drawing first. This is the cerebellum, uh, sorry, this is the cerebral cortex. This is the midbrain, this is the pons, these are, this is the medulla, and this is the cerebellum, and this is the spinal cord. Okay, then we have your cortical reticular cerebellar afferents, which arise from the cerebral cortex, again, especially in the sensory motor areas right and then they give off two branches so you can see that they're coming from here and they're giving off two branches uh, the first branch goes to the reticular formation which uh, on the same side so this is on the same side and this gives off uh, reticular fibers reticular cerebellar fibers which enter the cerebellum by the inferior and middle cerebral uh, cerebellar peduncle and they give off another branch which crosses the midline and enters the pons on the opposite side. So that is it. Okay, now we're on to the cerebellar afferents from the spinal cord, right? And these uh, look a bit confusing as you can see, but I promise you they're very easy. Again, I'll orient you to the drawing. This is the cerebral cortex. This is the midbrain, these are the pons, and this is the medulla, and this is the cerebellum, this little bell thing, dumbbell thing. And this is the spinal cord, right? So we're going to start off with the anterior spinocerebellar tracts. You have two of those. You have crossed and you have uncrossed, okay? So most of them, they cross. Uh, most of them, they cross, and uh, these are the ones that are crossing. And they cross and then they ascend in the contralateral white column. So here we have them ascending in the contralateral white column. This is the white column. And then they enter this, um, this, this will get a bit confusing, but just swallow, just bear with me. Um, and then they enter the cerebellum by the superior cerebellar peduncle. And then they cross back within the cerebellum and then they enter the opposite side via the middle cerebellar peduncle. Okay? So they cross here, then they ascend in the contralateral white column, they enter the cerebellum via the superior um, cerebellar peduncle, then they cross back within the cerebellum and then they enter the opposite side via the middle cerebellar peduncle. And the uncrossed ones, which are right here, uh, they ascend in the lateral in the po in the lateral white column, uh, like so, and then they enter the cerebellum via the superior 
Seri Bella, Hedonko, Simple. And both of these anterior spinal Seri Bella tracts, they give off um, uh, collaterals to the dorsal column nucleus. Then we have the posterior spinal Seri Bella tract, which is this purple one. So they um enter on uh, they enter the clarix nucleus and then they enter the posterior part of the lateral white column right here so they go up they ascend and then they enter the medulla and then they enter the cerebellum where the inferior cerebellar peduncle so just like that then we have, um, let's do cunocerebellar tracts, which are these, these ones. So this is a, a nucleus cuneatus in the medulla. So the fibers originate in the nucleus cuneatus, and then they enter the cerebellum by the inferior cerebellar peduncle on the same side. So they, do, so they don't cross, but they do give um, collateral branches to the deep cerebellar nuclei. Ooh, my mistake. Um, this was also deep cerebellar nuclei, right? And um, this gives us information uh, of the upper limb and joint muscles. Then we have the vestibular vestibular afferents. So there are two of those. Um, this diamond shape is the vestibular nucleus. Um, they, there are fibers that go directly to the cerebellum, like the inferior cerebellar peduncle. And then uh, there are fibers which go to the vestibular nuclei via, again, via the um, inferior cerebellar peduncle. And that is it. So here's an overview of the whole picture. Thank you for watching.